welcome to the New Indian Express News Wrap. I am Harshita Nagpal. Chief Minister Vais Jagannath Reddy said focus should be on administering booster shots to frontline workers, people with chronic diseases, and the old. Jagan today chaired a meeting and reviewed the preparedness of the state to tackle the spread of the Omicron variant. Officials informed him that, as per preliminary estimates, a total of 75 lakh booster doses are needed for people. This also includes the first dose of vaccines for those in the 15 to 18 age group. Jagan instructed the officials to expedite the vaccination process and conduct door-to-door -door inoculation drives. Health department officials have been directed to identify the unvaccinated while conducting fever service and administer vaccines to them. Noting the current situation, Jagan stressed that there is no need to panic. However, he cautioned the officials to be alert even though the number of Omicron cases is less and directed them to take measures by monitoring foreign returnees. Now, villagers at Krishna Patnam in Nellore district are opposing the distribution of Anandaya's alleged Omicron preventative medicine. The New Indian Express had earlier reported that Anandaya has started distribution of a herbal concoction, claiming that it would prevent a person from contracting the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. A group of villagers confronted Anandaya whether he had any permission for, for the distribution of the medicine. They complained that several people were making a beeline to the village for the medicine, which was creating an unrest among the villagers amid the spread of the Omicron variant. As heated arguments broke out between Anandaya and the villagers, police intervened and held discussions to restore normalcy. On the other hand, Anandaya said the state government and the High Court have given him permission for the distribution of P, F, L, and K medicines. He complained against the people who are hindering the distribution process and called them inhuman. Andhra Pradesh stood fourth in the fourth edition of the State Health Index 2019-2020 report released by the Niti Aayog. Compared to the previous edition, the state's rank slipped from three to four. The report focuses on measuring and highlighting the overall performance and incremental improvement of states and union territories for the period 2018-19 and 2019-20. The state recorded an incremental change of 1.07. However, it remains a front runner in the overall and incremental performance. The state has fared well in the Good Governance Index, where it stood first in the agriculture and allied sector category. GGI is a comprehensive and implementable framework to assess the state of governance in all the states and union territories, which enables ranking of states and districts and presents a comparative picture. In the agriculture and allied sector, eight indicators have been identified in GGI with a focus on output and institutional support, like crop insurance. With that, it's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and download the New Indian Express app for more news and updates.